like a middle of the ground stupid fucking thing but it's not i mean this this is great see washington post suspending reporter day weigel over sexist retweet is a fantastic example of this the malleability of culture it's a great example of that people got people got mad and we're like, how dare you, Day Weigel? How dare you retweet this fucking sexist tweet? Um, and the tweet itself was like some dumb shit, which he immediately unretweeted and apologized for, by the way. Um, every girl is bi. You just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual, which is like a like a boomer version of this like old ass fucking uh, bi joke, apparently. Okay. And uh, this is cultural sanitation, sanitizing culture. They came after him. They held him accountable. It's offensive. It's literally not even funny. Actually based. Twitter has been the primary world for media for a while. Good on them. Yeah. Anyway, so it's really not offensive. It's not funny, but it's really just not offensive. Get over it. No, it's just like, it's like a fucking really dumb. It's a dumb joke. I heard people say way worse shit about bisexuals in this chat from bisexuals themselves. I didn't realize it was like a boomer dude who made the tweet. Um ultimately it's like uh when someone retweets something like that and then unretweets it and apologizes for it immediately like what the fuck do you want you want to kill him like yeah okay what up should you go to jail it's so stupid it's like americans are so fucking bloodthirsty and psychotic um whole article for a tasteless joke but nothing for the copious amount of conservatives calling pride month groomer month yeah but again you can't tackle uh, you can't tackle any any of the fucking notorious bills that are being passed in every state right now through republican backed unjustifiable undemocratic state legislatures that basically are just like if you're a trans person existing like we need to put you on a fucking cannon and like launch you into the sun okay and like you can't do anything about that but you're mad about like actual structural issues so you just fucking turn around and you get mad at this shit because you can actually make a brand or a corporation uh, engage with you. It's the Twitch streamer dilemma, right? My level of accessibility, as I've talked about a million times over, opens me up to a lot of fucking ridiculous criticism that normally would never fly. You can't get mad at like politicians, so you get mad at like your favorite Twitch streamer because your favorite Twitch streamer is uh, incredibly accessible. The reflex stuff is a great example. People were like, oh, Valkyrie's a scammer. Like she's a fucking piece of shit. Like what a fucking piece of shit. And then Addison Ray took on the exact same fucking reflex thing and and, and sold it like literally they didn't even change the ray i guess in the reflect and and what happened nothing nothing happened you want to know why because addison ray is like an actual fucking celebrity that is inaccessible and uh while people were probably making like cancellation fucking remarks about her too no one gave a shit you know what i mean god i forgot why i stopped watching you yes call women crazy then that's what you get god i forgot why i stopped watching you now you remember now i remember where did non-toxic week go boris johnson won the confident vote shake him up my fucking head <sighs> dude you write stuff like this in the chat and then don't bully this person please okay chatters don't fucking do it it was dave's own co-worker that called his tweet out not some regular old twitter person though anyway don't don't yell at that person or don't say anything stupid okay you will probably be in the same situation as that person at a certain point but i mean that's my point though but that's that person is proving my point there's no other situation in which like someone can like directly directly tell a content creator like you're shit i don't like your content there's no other circumstance where like while i'm in the middle of like my commentary i will see immediate feedback and respond that is really fucking gratifying for a lot of people they see they get a lot of satisfaction from that right and that's part of the reason why like that's that's why uh, Twitch streamers get owned all the fucking time. That's why we have to work like we have to act like social workers half the goddamn time and and, and behave this way. But that is a that is the same exact remnant of the the attitude that people have towards the powerlessness that they feel the powerlessness that they feel against institutional uh institutional uh, uh, uh hurdles and and oppression okay so they fucking turn around and and focus their efforts on really dumb shit okay that's how it works um when you live in portland oregon and ask your roommate to pay for their utilities such a cute little quirky move of you to scam and take advantage of an autistic trans lesbian woman Lamar you really thought you could just get away with scamming an autistic trans woman because you know she would just do anything you say because she doesn't know any better you are a horrible person and you should seek therapy wait what oh dude this is my favorite this is my favorite tweet having roommates in portland be like sock wants you to know sock wants to know why you're weaponizing your neurotypical privilege by asking them to do the dishes this is my favorite fucking tweet of all time and it's not just portland like this shit is like this, this literally is just straight up just uh, a, a lot of narcissistic people like thinking that just because they are functionally on the right 
right side of like a political uh, equation or political spectrum that they uh, can, you know, weaponize uh, identity points or really seemingly innocuous bullshit. This, this is touching on trans issues. Let's uh, watch the Matt Walsh get on clip. We're going to watch it. Transphobia mass is fighting against woke scolding is my least favorite sa of sanitize. What? Hatred? What? That's not transphobia masked as uh, uh, fighting against woke scolding. What the fuck? Come on, dude. Don't do that. You don't need, It's not even a real circumstance. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, you can't actually fucking look as an insane person. I guess you can. But you can't look at, like, a fake situation and be like, well, this is actually transphobia. This is obviously me, but just to be, but just to be totally clear, I made this tweet because using your identity to avoid responsibility is cringe as fuck so that people can be ableist and phobic in the replies. Narcissism is neurodivergence. Everyone is neurodivergent if you spend enough time slash money to figure out which flavor you are. Is acting like a human being and doing your chores as a roommate? Oh, yeah, yeah. I literally conservatism getting mad at fake shit they made up insane people really be like i slept for 37 months but i can no longer deal with your hateful commentary what the fuck if it's made up then of course it's going to be used for transphobia no this is made up okay well and there's nothing about trans people in this situation okay but this it seems like is a uh you know uh, a, a real situation uh, in which like a person in portland tried to get a roommate to pay their utilities i don't know if it's real or not i don't know this tweet is fake and even if not it's robbed of all context embarrassing article about my hometown high school mental health i don't know I, anyway whatever it doesn't matter people do shit like this this is obvious to me but it should be totally clear i made this tweet because using your identity to avoid responsibility is cringe as fuck not so that people could be ableist and phobic in the replies both hypotheticals can end up with people projecting how they think things might happen but their prediction is based on bigotry i love how a chatter linked this because it's funny and now it turned into another debate i know i just like i don't know man i i just it, it seems like it breeded transphobia dude we live okay you guys are fundamentally misunderstanding the point i make all the time we live in a transphobic society. Everything can be weaponized towards trans people and often is weaponized towards trans people. Okay? That's just how it is. Technically, with enough intention and technically with enough uh, enthusiasm, and there's plenty of it on the right, oh my god, and even some on the left, people will turn anything and everything into uh, an opportunity to shit on trans people. Guys, we just saw a fucking school shooting happen in Uvalde, Texas, where some dude, some psycho fucking walked into a, 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 an elementary school and shot people. And they were like, how do we turn this around to trans people? Let's just lie and say the shooter was fucking trans. What the fuck? This is just like, they added, I'm neurodivergent and a minor. Instead of saying, I'm neurodivergent and a minor, they basically said autistic trans woman. That's it. That's the reason. Okay? That's what's going on here. Conspiracy about the shooting are getting millions of views on TikTok, whitewashing the shooter's motives and chalking up to the government. Yeah, I know. Support trans rights and wrongs. Why did he delete this? He's right. I support everything trans women say, even if it's wrong and I hate it because I'm an ally and the rest is simply not my business. <laughs> support trans rights and wrongs. The goal of Pride Month is to make this a mainstream ideology. Let trans women do whatever they want. <laughs> I laid into a friend of 21 years and also unfriended them for posting some shit about the shooter being a trans girl. Piece of sh Peace, you piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Um... The world wasn't ready for these facts. Uh, uh, have you talked about the Dallas drag show yet? I've seen a ton of liberal people saying it went too far and falling for fascist transphobic rhetoric. Yeah, Dallas protesters show up to the Drag the Kids the Pride family-friendly drag show. During the event, drag performers danced and walked down the aisle at the center of the room. At times, dances take dollar bills from some children. Um, I've talked about this before where I like, I don't understand why this has to be like the center of the LGBT movement, which I don't think it is. I think conservatives desperately try to make it, but like, I, I, I don't care about this in any meaningful capacity. Like, I just literally don't care. Uh, straight people do this all the time. Uh, I've talked about this a million times over. You got fucking kids at Hooters. You, uh, like, you have straight parents being like, oh, have you, do you have a schoolgirl crush to like a fucking third grader? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, this is just like normal fucking weird weirdo behavior uh and yes the gays engage in this like weirdo behavior as well uh as the straights do okay after all you guys know me i'm literally an unironic advocate against uh child beauty pageants i've been a a massive massive fucking anti-child beauty pageant guy since fucking day one uh something that i bring up to like the QAnon freaks all the time whenever i interview them if you know right um it's homophobic to consider uh, dragon hairly sexual i mean it's fucking stupid to say that there this is not like uh 
uh, there isn't something inherently sexual here, though. Like, it's like it's not going to lick itself sign in the background. Like, come on, you're fucking avoiding. You're denying the reality. The point is, is this kind of sexuality outside of the fucking norm? If you're looking at like a Hooters, if these people aren't fucking losing their minds about like kids going to Hooters and then losing their minds over this, it's because these people are LGBT. Okay, that's it. That's the truth. But from where I'm standing, I personally don't give a fuck. I don't care if it's a fucking ice cream uh, 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 shop or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? It's like ultimately in the context of it, it looks it's like a perfect uh, it's a it's a perfect uh, shit storm. OK, you got like kids fucking put dollar bills or whatever inside of uh, 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 drag dancers or whatever. Of course, people are going to get fucking mad. They're going to get mad. I've said before that drag is a performance many, many times over. And I totally understand it. Drag is a performance. It doesn't have to be inherently sexual. Sometimes it is. OK, sometimes it sometimes it is inherently uh, sometimes it is sexual. But like it's weird because it's like drag is not necessarily PG. 13 you know what i mean it's just not so why is it that it has to be like for kids why does drag have to be for kids i don't get it i'm not even even in favor of like banning it for children or anything like that because i literally do not care i do not care i just don't fucking care i was not ready to defend you from lib twitter today I just don't care. It's so fucking stupid to make an argument about this. Like, I don't care. Children seeing, like, uh, a drag dancers are not going to turn gay. That's not how it works. Um, but uh, when you have tipping and shit going on, it does become, like, and Joe, not all drag is inherently sexual, but when you have tipping and shit going on, it does turn into, like, a weirdly sexual exper sexualized experience. What came with it were protests outside. You people are the symptom of a dying society, and you know it. You're scaring children. Shut the up. I live in this community. I have for several years. Daisy says she first saw a poster for this event near where she... Drag is a performance. I will ride or die once again. I will ride or die all day, every day. Whenever someone is like... Whenever there's a trans teacher, whenever there's a queer teacher that is getting fucking owned for no reason other than the fact that they're existing and being like a teacher or whatever, I'm there with you. Drag, on the other hand, is just simply a performance, right? So I don't know why... I mean, gender is a performance too, technically. Shut the fuck up, anarchist, and Marxism okay please yes gender is a performance as well but drag is like additionally performative on top of gender gender is a performance but drag is like quite literally the manifestation of that performance in a way that you can tangibly understand okay not like the everyday performance of gender it's theater it's like uh you know it's something that you're it's cartoonish okay and part of that is, uh, you know, part of that is is sexual or sexualized, right? And what I consider, what I think is, like, weird about it is that, that uh, like, I don't see this as, like, something that, like, absolutely, like, we need to fucking get up in arms and, like, uh, defend it. Especially if there's, like, inherently, uh, inherently, like, adult uh, themes associated with it. It was meant for adults as nightlife entertainment. Adults because adults get the jokes, not for sex. Yeah, this is what, this is how I see it, okay? I, I, I like this already. This was pretty fun. Uh, the way I see it is this. Have you guys ever watched, like, have you ever gone back and, and watched, like, shit that you watched when you were a kid, like Rugrats or whatever? There's a lot of jokes in child's, uh, in children's, like, movies and shit that are specifically designed for adults. But you as a kid don't see it. You don't understand it. But adults actually look at that and go, aha, I see what you did there, okay? They do that all the time. It's a, it's actually a very normal part of, like, uh, cartoons because they're like, well, you're gonna fucking sit here and, you know, watch this shit, so might as well enjoy it, right? Right. And and there's a lot of that. There is a lot of that in cartoons. It's built for both. Right. But that's child facing commentary and entertainment that has something for adults. This is adult facing entertainment for children, which is the opposite. So it doesn't work. Do you see what I'm saying? It's just like it, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, drag is a is a performance. You can have like certain kinds of drag performances that are uh, uh, that are for children. I don't have an issue with that if you want. But like the moment that it becomes like even a little bit sexual because there is adults in the fucking room and you want to make like a inference towards adults, then people are going to weaponize that against you. They're going to weaponize it. And anyone who's like, no, this is literally the end all be all. This is where the LGBT uh, war starts and ends is like weirdly pressed about like, again, a performance. Like I'm all in favor of like, uh, I, I don't know, not being as puritanical, obviously, but it is quite weird when, uh, you know, when you come across as, oh yeah, here it is. I mean, here Wait, is someone actually making that exact same example? That's awesome. I mean, here, yeah, exactly. I was just talking to my mom about this too. Uh, I do think the event went too far based on the limited, admittedly biased exposure I've seen. Initially just thought it was about some innuendo signs, which seems hilarious growing up with every show filled with wink and nod references, but I get the objections people may have had. I mean, yeah, look, what do you think this is? What do you think these fucking napkins are, are there for? Dad's trophy. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby.
I found prints. No, no. Fingerprints. I don't think so. I definitely have to think about this more, but I get what you're saying. I just like... Again, I just don't care. I, I, I literally don't care. And when conservatives lose their fucking minds over it, I'm like, you don't care either. Because this is real. This, this. Being attracted to Hooters chicks is normal, except when identity politics lets them be fat or dudes. Like, first of all, brother, you literally are, like, associating with a sex cult. So maybe you should sit this one out, you fucking weirdo. This motherfucker's gonna be the only person that's ever been groomed as an adult, okay? Like, literally, as, like, a 38-year-old adult. They are 20-year-old cartoons, motherfucker. You think current cartoons don't have uh, references that they make regularly for adults to consume i think you misunderstood my uh, my point here um anyway let progressive parents take their kids to drag shows the only mad ones are conservatives boo boo no like but like drag shows should also recognize that like they're gonna be weaponized against the entire lgbt community so uh, don't do it with like sexual innuendo you know what i mean don't ha don't even lay on a little bit of sexual innuendo if like a drag queen is like doing uh reading hour or whatever i don't give a fuck okay i don't care it's like why are you mad why are you mad it's just like a drag queen reading a fucking book psycho moves this shit okay but if you're doing like a, a like a light strip tease or whatever or you're like uh dancing or whatever around children and then they're like putting fucking uh dollar bills in your uh in your clothes then it's like okay well now you've done something weird okay you're, you're doing something weird that's a weird thing to do just like this what we're looking at is a weird thing to do be like yeah titties ah. Oh. I took my fucking 12 year old to Hooters. Like, look at them. Look at them honkers, dude. Look at them bazonkas. Mmm. My 12 year old is fucking so horned up. And that's weird because cleavage is totally the same thing as putting dollar bills in a drag queen's underwear. Cleavage is awesome. Undisputed. Dude, you're fucking, you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. I just don't get it. Like, let kids be kids. The point is that people should just have more of a problem with non assisted stuff. I wouldn't take a nine year old to Hooters and I probably wouldn't take them to the equivalent of a non hetero space. Yeah, exactly. Drag shows go beyond innuendo, though. Many of them are very in your face sexual. No problem with that, but it's unsuitable for kids. Yeah, I, that we are in agreement. When you say it's a performance, I can see how it would seem to people that you're dismissing the part of drag where it helps people express themselves more. And inspires others to do so so yeah it's a performance performance with some positive impacts yeah but ultimately it's not like your identity it's not your existence you know what i mean it's not like your everyday thing it's like what? Oh, this sorry. is the drag to kids to pride event at mr misters in dallas's oakland neighborhood organizers promoted it as a family-friendly drag show where kids danced with the performers what came with it were protests outside. You people are the symptom of a dying society, and you know it. You're scaring children! Shut the I live in this community. I have for several years. Easy says she first saw a poster for this event near where she lives. I don't believe that um, I, I should be seeing signs uh, advertising for children to be dancing on stage with men in thongs and in inappropriate clothing and makeup. The organizers say today was a family-friendly event with a safe environment separate from their normal operations. In a statement, they said, We believe everyone should have a space to celebrate who they are. Mr. Misters is a place where everyone is welcome to feel accepted, safe, and included. I've been here like every night throughout the week. AJ Cruz has worked at Mr. Misters for about two years now. He said today's event allows people to express themselves. There was a lot less people drinking today, so that would make it more kid-friendly just because there's so many people here. Everyone just came from all walks of life and, you know, just enjoyed pride. Organizers said they've received threatening emails and phone calls from the protesters. I do not in any way condone the behavior that these people are engaging in. Don, do you really care about this? No, I don't. The neon sign at the back of the catwalk is a bit sus, not gonna lie. They probably should have covered it up if kids are around. I mean, it's just like when you when you uh, put everything together, like drag being sometimes sexual, uh, or in a lot of instances, let's be real, come on, like drag is a performance, but it's a sexual performance. It's like an, it's a, it's a burlesque uh, style, cartoonish representation presentation of gender it's like super exaggerated and it's a sexual performance for the most part like there are instances where it's not but it is a sexualized performance it's not sexual in nature but it's a sexualized performance and it also is like a, a an, an exaggerated exaggerated expression of gender okay um, I don't know why people just make it seem as though that's not the case, right? But it doesn't in doesn't always have to be. It doesn't always have to be. You can have like a you can have a a, a drag uh, a queen. I don't know, read a fucking book or something, right? And that's fine. But don't care. Doesn't approve, but can't say it out loud. Hassan unban me. No, like I well, there are instances of it. Th this is so wrong. Like there are instances of it that I understand and have approved of. Okay, and then there are instances of it where. 
where I'm like, well, that's weird. Like, that's kind of odd. And I'm saying that already. I'm saying that, like, if you're going to do drag for children, you have to be super fucking careful, okay? It's not the end-all be-all. You don't have to do drag for children. And when you do do drag for children, it has to literally be super, super fucking careful. Any kind of thing that you do will be used against you. And this is being used against you. So there you go. Okay, hold on. Jesus Christ. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>